What's going on guys? It's Mr. Affleck9916 and welcome back to the Jack Davis Road to the Show. As you see, we are 7th in the National League in saves, sitting at 31, only 2 away from being in a tie for 3rd. So we have a chance to uh, possibly move up in the order in this episode. It is Saturday. I hope you guys are all having a good weekend so far. Kind of a short episode today. We're only going to have 3 games. I didn't have a ton of gameplay uh, to add in this episode, but... I'm going out tonight and didn't have time to record more, so I figured I'd stretch what I had uh, out a little bit more so you're going to see a little bit more footage from these three games than you normally would, but that's all right. Still uh, figured I'd get something up and uh, playing here in Miami with a 4 nothing lead, so two runners on base, that does technically make it a safe situation. We go full count to the first batter, Eric Ibar, and then the 3-2 pitch. He's going to line this into left field. That's a base hit. Runner comes around third. He will score. That RBI is not against me, luckily, but the bad news is Ibar gets into second. So his run would be against me. That run is against whoever was pitching. We're here in the 10th inning, so I doubt it was the starting pitcher who pitched that long, especially in what was a tie game in the ninth. Either way, next batter comes in, and we're going to get him started out with a ball on the outside. Tried to go that sinker away for a strike. That pitch I always miss. We follow that up with a fastball, so we're now behind 2-0. and We bring the count back to 2-1. and We're going to go with the curveball that he swings and misses. We missed high in the zone. Luckily, he missed. Count goes to 2-2, two and two, going for the strikeout, and we get it on a 99-mile-an-hour fastball right there. So a nice job by us to get the save as you see that was a, a pretty quick save right there i think we already had came in with one out so the episode is off to a good start there's our 30 second save of the year as the tick shows on the bottom i'm gonna work on some training points now we have only 51 because we used a lot of ours up I'm gonna try to get some of these yellows away as you see we have no more reds which is nice we only have yellows, so none of the statistics are really, really going down like they were before. We're starting to earn a little more training points than we were before just because the Padres, I think, are playing a little better. So things are getting better as we get close to the end of the season. Coming in in another game in Miami. Hey, 2017 All-Star game. I'm already in 2018, so I won't make that. It says, as you can see, uh, uh, the billboard on the back of the... Where it says Marlins Park behind the hitter. Yeah, 2017 All-Star game. I think they need to get rid of that because I'm in the 2018 season. But whatever. 2-2 two -two count for the first batter. And we're going to get him to strike out on another 99-mile-an-hour fastball. Those 99-mile-an-hour fastballs are really working out for us. Marcelo Zuna comes in. He's 0 for 2. Hit by a pitch. We're going to try not to hit him with a pitch. We get him started out with a sinker. Badly placed, but he looks at it for a strike. Next pitch to him is a curveball, which he swings and misses. So all of a sudden, he's down 0-2. Going to try to strike him out as well. Instead, he's going to line that sinker up the middle for a base hit. And the Marlins get a runner on first with one out. And the tying run now will come to the plate. That tying run will be second baseman Brock Holt. He's 0 for 3 in the game. But he'll step into the plate. And Davis with the first pitch. And it's going to be a sinker just away for another ball. Once again, Davis continuing to struggle with that pitch. He follows up with a fastball in for a strike, so the count's evened up at 1-1. One one. Going to go with the curveball after that fastball, and that one is hit on the ground by Holt. First baseman fields, but it's just going to be a foul ball. That would have been nice. We could have at least got the lead runner there. Instead, the count goes to 1-2. We try to strike out Holt with the fastball. We miss high, and he lays off 2-2. Two two. Going back with the curveball, low and away. Holt's going to line this one to left field, fielded by the third baseman, over to second for one, and a first gets the double play, and we get the save. Fantastic job by Davis after the base hit to get the double play, and Jack Davis just continues to pitch really, really well. His 33rd save of the year, and getting up close to 60 in his career. RERA sitting about 2.72, so it has dropped. We were up above three like two episodes ago, so Jack is definitely playing very, very good baseball recently. 44 strikeouts and 43 innings pitches here, and look at that. Average against lefties is only .186. It's even only .232 against righties, so, I mean, that, that kind of goes to show, you know, a lot of the runs that I've let up are on home runs, and that's part of being a guy who pitches fastball so fast. There's already so much energy in the fastball. When someone connects on it, it's going to go a long way. Russell Martin coming in for the Toronto Blue Jays. And he's going to fall behind in the count. Or we're going to fall behind in the count. 2-1 and one to him. Next pitch to Martin. It's going to be a fastball. That one missed, but the umpire gave me a lucky call. That's nice to get a good break for once. 
2-2 pitch to Martin. Curveball. We freeze him. He strikes out looking. And there's one gone here in Toronto. I've actually been to Toronto before. It's a really, really, really nice city. One of my favorite places I've ever been. I did actually walk outside of the Blue Jays Stadium. I didn't get to go in, but we kind of walked around like the gates and the front door kind of walked on like the sidewalks that they have around it. And it's, it's, it's an old stadium. I mean, I think the Blue Jays probably need a new stadium. But regardless, I love Toronto. It's a great city. And uh, pretty fun to play here on a video game as well. Of course, the part that's not fun is the fact that their offense is crazy. We're going to get Coleman to strike out on an 0-2 pitch right there. So now there are two gone, and we're going to face off against Kevin Pilar. He's one for four with a double and a run. We're going to try to make him one for five with another out. We're going to get started with a sinker, and that one misses, as the sinkers always do. We bring it back to one and one, though, and Pilar lines that pitch up the middle. He waited on the curveball and hit it right back where it came from. There is a runner on first base with two gone, and the tying run now is on base, of course. This is actually Eric Hosmer batting. The Blue Jays traded for him in this game. So now they have Tolowitzki. I don't think they have Bautista. I think he retired. But they have uh, Hosmer, who, as you see, gets a base hit. They have Edwin Encarnacion. They are just loaded in the offensive department. And, of course, they have this guy, Josh Donaldson. This is going to be a great way to end this game, guys. If he gets a ball in the gap, Toronto wins. If I get him out, we win. We're going to get started out with a sinker. He swings and misses for strike one. Count goes to one and one. Pitch to Donaldson's a fastball. It misses outside, and the count is two and one. Going to follow that one up with a curveball. Donaldson hits it on the ground. Played by the second baseman. Throws to first, and we get the win. A close call against the Blue Jays. That was, I'm not going to lie, I was nervous facing Donaldson. They are such a good offensive team, but that makes you really happy to get a save against them. Jack Davis, 34 saves on the air. Perfect three for three in this episode and that's going to be it for this one guys i want to thank you all for watching this episode only three more days until i go on my trip so i'll try to get three more episodes up for you guys make sure you rate comment and subscribe if you want to never miss an episode of jack davis for now we'll see you next time i'm mr f like 9916 peace